Hello, this is Jay Goldstein of the Local and State History Department of the Cumberland County Public Library. And we'd like to welcome you to our ongoing series, Fayetteville's African American Heroes. Good afternoon, everybody. Uh, once again, I'm Professor Charles Anderson, Jr. from Fayetteville State University, and I will be talking about another one of Fayetteville's African American heroes. His name, is Omar Ibn Said. Born in modern day Senegal in 1770, he was a Muslim, he was educated, knew how to read and write, even studied a little mathematics, um, was captured and sold into slavery. He arrived in South, um, South Carolina in 1807. I'm jumping ahead, but according to his autobiography, his master was a mean man and he left. He ran away from Charleston, South Carolina and he walked. And I mean, people, he was walking from Charleston, South Carolina to Fayetteville. He's captured praying in a church. He's arrested, he's sent to jail, and that's where things really kick off. He gets a piece of charcoal and he begins to write in Arabic on the jail walls. And that has astounded people. Once he's bought by the Owens family, the Owens family buy him a Koran to help him with his English. And they also buy him a Bible in Arabic. And so he takes Bible study lessons and he joins the First Presbyterian Church here in Fayetteville. Now there is a lot of debate about whether he actually converted to Christianity or not, but he still joins the church here in Fayetteville, the First Presbyterian Church. Eventually they will move him to Bladen County. They will also eventually move to Wilmington. Um, he will actually die in 1863, two years before the Civil War is ended. Um, and he's buried, but unfortunately, we don't know where his tombstone is. He wrote his own autobiography, which is something rare for an enslaved person in 1831. So, Omar Ibn Said, one of Fayetteville's African American heroes. Thank you for tuning in today. Our presenters today were Dr. Kelly Cardenas Walsh and Professor Charles Anderson Jr. of Fayetteville State University. Hope to see you again next time. Have a wonderful day.